In this video about Audacity, I'm going to talk a little bit about preparing to work with an audio project and also getting started and setting up your project in Audacity. Normally what I advise folks to do who are brand new to any form of multimedia work is you want to make a project folder. Now, a lot of computer operating systems, especially Windows, what they'll want to do is hook up to your OneDrive and they're trying to do a favor with that cloud storage by enabling it and having it store all of your files remotely and backing them up. This can cause some issues with multimedia software packages uh, since I always explain to students that it's kind of like you're trying to use one of those coffee stirring straws to drink a McDonald's milkshake. Um, it can make some issues, especially with older software. You're more than welcome to work that way. Uh, I know the Adobe suite, they have done a phenomenal job as far as setting things up like that with the cloud. However, I'm a little bit more old school. I like to store and make the folder locally, and then I move it to where I want to store it. It is that extra step, but I'm kind of set in my ways in that sense. So you'll often see me what I'll do, like for instance, starting a project for Audacity, I might click on my desktop and make a new folder and I'll call this Audacity Project. So now I have this folder that's going to store all of my audio clips, uh, maybe uh, scripts if I need them, uh, written scripts or discussion plans for a podcast, all of that would go in this folder here. And then when I'm done working, I would take this folder and move it to where I'd like to have it backed up. In my case, probably my Dropbox or my Google Drive. So you come into Audacity and you're like, okay, I'm ready to start working on my project. Per most software packages that we work in, just in general, we think, okay, let's go to File and New. Notice what happened. It actually opened a second Audacity window for me. Audacity, when you open it, by default, it has opened a project for you. So you already have the file open. We now need to either import an external audio piece or what we can do is come into this big work area that's kind of blank right now. We can right click and you're going to have three options here as far as adding different types of tracks. For this demo and follow along, go ahead and say add stereo track. And there we go. We now have a track in place that, for instance, I could come up here and hit the record button, or we could add on to this. So just to demo real quick, as I'm lecturing here, you can see that as I am hitting the record button and talking, you see the little wavelengths as far as what is being recorded. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop now. This is one nice thing about how far audio software has come. If you have a laptop or something that can run Audacity, being able to plug in or even just use the laptop microphone can take you a long way. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on mics or anything like that to be able to do what we're working with here. So sake of argument, we now have an Audacity project with an audio file in it. Now I can come back under File, and you have a Save Project option. This is now where it becomes important as far as that folder is concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and say Save Project. And Audacity is kind enough to remind you with a little warning that this is saving the audio project, not an audio file. When you're saving an Audacity project or an audio project, the reason we do that is so that we can come back and edit it. If you've ever double clicked on an MP3 or WAV file, which is an audio file, we don't really have a lot of options as far as being able to edit it. It has pretty much been smushed down into a single audio file, whereby you can't go in and edit the volume of the background noise, or you can't edit out uh, general, you know, maybe like an air conditioner, uh, background noise. You don't have that choice with an audio file. So you want to have at hand, whenever you're working with any type of multimedia project, you want to have that original working file. I'm going to tell it okay, because that's what I want. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my desktop where that project folder is. And I'm going to call this my demo project. I'll go ahead and save. And for this, I'd like to go ahead and I'll double click. And you can see now what has been generated for you by Audacity. Here's the primary working file. So for instance, if I close out of Audacity, I can double click on that and notice it opens that working file. And then I have these extra files that also become open as far as working with the file. Just leave those be. They disappear whenever you close out the file. Now, just to show you the difference here, since I talked about it briefly here, if I go and I'm ready to publish, and let's say I do export audio, now you have a bit of a different window where you can choose, and I'm going to browse once again. I'm going to put this in that Audacity project folder, and I'm going to call this published. And we'll go ahead and save. We're not going to get into formats for right now. I just want you to see the difference. And I'll go ahead and say export, and let me X out here so we get rid of those extra little files there. Notice the difference between the two now. The My Demo Project up here, that's the project file, has the Audacity icon. Meanwhile, I do use the VLC player, which I have set to the default of audio players for my desktop. And notice it says it's a WAVE audio file, so it's a little bit different. So if I were to double click As I'm there, lecturing here, you can see that as I am hitting the record button and talking, notice it opens up in a different file here. This, just as a side note, could be a little bit different. If you're not using VLC, uh, yours may be a little bit different. Mac users, it might default to things like uh, Apple Music. Uh, Windows users, if you have Windows Media Player, might default to that if you haven't changed that around. So that kind of just gives you a brief overview of first off getting started in Audacity. And we also looked at how to get started with the file itself and talked about the difference between a working file for a project versus a published and exported audio file.